Good morning children. Today we are here to discuss Unit 10 Electromagnetism of 10th class. Within this, within this particular topic, we are going to discuss a new topic called as Electric Motor. What is called as Electric Motor? We will see for various appliances. The fan what is working here, it is working upon a principle called as what it is, it is nothing but what electric motor. To pump out water from the well, we will use a motor, that motor is nothing but what electric motor. It means it works upon a principle called as converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. As when we are switching on the key, electrical energy is converting into what? mechanical energy due to that reason fan is continuously rotating around its own axis similarly as we switch on the mixi mixi rotates continuously the blade the blade which is existing in the particular mixi jar will rotate continuously as we add any other substance to be churned in the form of powder we can use that electrical energy is converting to what mechanical energy therefore electric motor works upon one principle that principle is called as water converting electrical energy into mechanical energy electrical energy is converting into what mechanical energy that converting of electrical energy into mechanical energy based upon that principle electric motor will be get working as we are studying about electric motor, we are going to understand the behavior of current carrying coil. We can also study the behavior of current carrying coil kept in uniform magnetic field. This is a field which is called as a uniform magnetic field. In that particular uniform magnetic field, A, B, C, D, a rectangular coil I have placed. We can study as the working of electric motor gives information about what current carrying coil, this coil as it is current car carrying coil in this direction A to B, B to C, C to D as well as D to A in all different directions as the current is flowing through the coil we can understand the behavior of the current carrying coil kept in the uniform magnetic field. How it behaves? What how it behaves? It rotates around its own axis. It rotates around its own axis. How it will be get rotated around its own axis? Let me study individually. Clearly, let me study that particular copy. We have seen clearly that the current flowing in coil is A to B it is flowing. B to C it is flowing, C to D it is flowing as well as D to A it is flowing. If you observe, the, if you notice this particular the effect of the magnetic field acting upon the coil, how this particular magnetic field is acting upon the coil? If you see it up, it will be always perpendicular on AB phase as well as CD phase. The magnetic field will be acting exactly perpendicular or right angle. Right angle means what? How many degrees? 90 degrees. It will be existing as what? 90 degrees exactly perpendicular to the magnetic field. It will be get acting within the coil there. Next point is what? The direction of magnetic force acting upon AB and facing AB as well as CD force. When the magnetic field is acting perpendicularly, there will be existing of one force. What is that force? Magnetic force QVB. QVB with capital Q indicate the rate of go of charges around the coil. V indicate with what velocity they are moving it up. V means what effect of magnetic field. There will be existence of magnetic force. That magnetic force how it will be that existing on AB surface as well as CD surface. If you see the AB surface here, the magnetic force will be acting inward direction. How it will be acting the inward direction into the coil it will be that acting into the magnetic field the coil will be that rotating. Whereas, whereas on CD surface if you see it up, it will be acting
in outward direction. It will be acting outward. Here it is acting inward direction. Here it is acting outward direction. Or out of the coil, out of the coil, the magnetic field that will get flowing. Therefore, the magnetic force acting upon the coil on AB surface as well as CD surface will be on AB surface into the magnetic field it will be acting on CD surface it will be acting out of that particular uh, direction it will be get moved that is the next point what we have to keep in our mind next thing is what on BC surface as well as BA surface how the magnetic force will be acting the magnetic force can be acting upon BC surface as well as BA surface see here in this way the magnetic field is acting in this if I am considering this is a coil for this coil what happens? magnetic field is acting as a coil is rotating it is making it as a coil is rotating it is making different angle or not therefore on BC surface as well as BA surface it varies continuously the magnetic force will does not remain same it varies continuously from one position to another position why if the magnetic field is acting in this way the coil is existing in this way it is rotating means it is making sort of angle as the angle increases if first it is zero degrees then afterwards the coil is rotating at different locations or different positions different angles can be get obtained due to that reason magnetic force does not remain same within BC surface as well as BA surface as the coil is rotating around its own axis within a different position the coil can be get obtained a different position would have a different angles will be get obtained within the magnetic field due to that reason magnetic force acting on BC as well as a DA surface will be continuously varies continuously varies at one particular position what happens there as the coil is rotating and it is coming to rest means what exactly parallel to the magnetic field this BC surface is what exactly parallel to the magnetic field DA surface is also what exactly parallel to the magnetic field when there are existing magnetic field exactly parallel to the magnetic field the magnetic force acting upon the surface will be equal to zero doesn't show any act, effect of magnetic force on, on that particular condition when they are existing parallel to each other parallel to each other and in one more condition what happened BC surface as well as DA surface can also be perpendicular to the, perpendicular to the magnetic field if they are perpendicular to the magnetic field, what happens there is a magnetic force on BC surface will be acting in what direction? Upward direction. On DA surface it will be acting downward direction. That is the different magnetic force at BC and DA, how it will be get back. It varies from one point to another point. Why? As a coil is rotating, it is making different angles at different positions. At different positions, different angles if it is making what happens there itself? If it is making different angle, different magnetic force will be get acting as the coil rotates around its own axis. At one point, that is first point we have to keep in mind. Second point is what? If the magnetic field is acting exactly parallel to the coil, BC surface as well as DA surface, then magnetic force acting upon the coil will be equal to what? Zero. Doesn't show any effect. Why? Net force will be equal to zero, therefore doesn't show any effect upon the coil. And there is also one more condition if the magnetic field is acting as a coil rotate, BC surface will be exactly perpendicular to the magnetic field. BC surface as well as DC surface will be, DA surface will be perpendicular to the magnetic field, they can come as the coil is rotating around its own axis. So that BC surface, on BC surface, a force force will be acting upon the coil when it is perpendicular. On DA surface, downward magnetic force will be get acting. This particular phenomena we have to keep in our mind regarding magnetic force on BC as well as DA. Next thing is what net force on rectangular coil. What would be the net force on this particular rectangular coil? It will be equal to zero. It will be equal to zero. Why? AB surface as well as BC surface, they are acting on the same magnetic force is acting, but in what opposite direction? One is in clockwise, other one is in anti-clockwise. Due to that reason, same magnet but opposite in direction. Due to that reason, AB plus CD will be equal to what? Zero. It will be equal. 
Similarly, B, C, as well as D, F, force. Exactly, but parallel means magnetic force will be equal to zero. And if it is exactly perpendicular, same magnetic force will be there, but opposite in direction. Due to that reason, they will be get cancelled. B, C plus D, A also will be equal to zero. If the net force acting upon the coil is equal to zero, but also what happens, the coil rotates. But also what happens there? The coil will be rotating around its own axis. How the coil will be rotating around its own axis? To understand this particular phenomena, we have taken two examples. One is what opening the cap of the bottle, simultaneously opening the cap. Early in the morning, if you go for water to the null, we will open the color tap. When we are opening the color tap, two different forces we are using. One is F1 force is acting in a upward direction, downward force on the other side. F1 force is acting towards one side and F2 force is acting on the other side. But in all equal force, but in all but in what direction is acting? Opposite in direction. The same magnitude of force F1 is equal to F2, same in magnitude, but in what opposite in the direction, but not on the same side. On the other side the force is acting. If it is acting on the same side, what happens? The cap cannot be get rotated. As the cap is rotating, means what? Two equal forces, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, such that one force is acting one side, other force is acting on other side. Due to acting of equal and opposite force, F1 and F2, of equal in magnitude but acting on other side of the cap, what happens? The cap can be rotated. The cap can be get rotated. Simultaneously to open the cap of the coil, cap of the bottle. To open the cap of the bottle, we have to apply force. We have to rotate the coil. We have to rotate. Means one force is acting towards this side, other force is acting towards the other side. Same side not. This is one side, this is another side. One side upward force is acting, other side downward force is acting, equal in magnitude but different in direction due to that reason what happened the cap the cap of that particular bottle can be get rotated in the same way on the coil also coil also rotating the same way one force will be acting in upward direction or one direction one side other force will be acting in downward direction of other side due to that reason one force is acting here so that coil is rotating up here one more side what happened force is acting in downward direction due to that reason coil rotates around its own axis so equal in magnitude force but opposite in direction acting one force is acting one side other force is acting other side one is acting in upward direction other side is acting in downward direction due to that reason what happened the coil rotates around its own axis one side if it is acting upward force other side downward force equal in magnitude but in what opposite in direction but one force is acting one side other force is acting on other side due to that reason coil rotates continuously around its own axis that is the point what we have to keep in our mind if a coil is rotating how coil is rotating we can understand Similarly, the direction of one more point we have to keep in our mind. The direction of coil is the curve. The direction of current in the coil if it is unchanged. If you observe here, direction of coil current is changing from one position to the other position. If the current is not changing, then what happens? Coil will rotate in clockwise direction. As the direction of current is not changing, same direction, here same direction, here also same direction. In this direction it is there, in this direction there. So coil rotates little bit off, quarter it will rotating. As it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, again one more force over this as the current is flowing in the same direction, it, it will be acting upon the coil on this particular coil in such a way that the coil which is rotated in anti-clockwise direction, sorry, clockwise direction it will rotate to what? Anti-clockwise direction. So that coil will be get halt after quarter position. Coil first it rotates as the current is flowing on AP surface rotates clockwise direction. As this BC CD surface is having what same direction and if a magnetic force will be acting upon the coil, same magnetic force but in same direction due to the result the coil will be rotating. It rotates here 
comes to again it rotates with clockwise direction again due to acting of force upon this coil it comes to rest due to anti clockwise direction and the coil will be get rest or it will be get hard that is the condition if the direction of current in the coil is unchanged if the direction of the current in the coil is unchanged due to that reason the current in the coil must be continuously changed Making coil to rotate continuously. To make coil to rotate to rotate continuously, we have to change the direction of current within the coil A B B C C D as well as D A. To change the direction of current in the coil, the two ends of the coil has to be get soldered to C one ring as well as C two off rings. I have taken what rings here? C1 and C2 of slippery rings. What rings are taken here? Slippery rings are taken. C1 and C2, two slippery rings are taken and soldered to the rectangular coil of A, B, C, D. As I am soldering it, what happens? These two rings cannot be get. Uh, they will be rotating around around its own axis as the coil rotates. That particular point we have to keep in our mind. Next thing is what B1 brush as well as B2 brush are connected to what those two these two slippery rings connected to a circuit consisting of battery and tap key. Battery and tap key. As we switch on the key, current starts flowing from high potential to low potential. Current direction will be A to B, B to C, C to D, as well as D to A. It will be get moving. As the current in the coil is moving continuously. Direction of current has to be changed. On AB surface, current is moving in upward direction. On CD surface, current is moving in what direction? Downward direction. Means what? Opposite direction. The current has to be get existing. So, as yeah, the current is in upward direction, one is moving in this upward direction, other is moving in other side in downward direction. So that what happens? Coil rotates. As two equal forces are acting, one is upward direction, other one is downward direction. On other side of that particular tap. When it is acting, the cap will be get rotated. Similarly, the coil rotates. As the coil rotating around it, in this way the coil is there. Two slipper rings are connected to our B1 brush as well as B2 brush. C1 slipper ring is connected to B1 brush. C2 slipper ring is connected to B2 brush. So what happened? As the coil is rotating and coming into 90 degrees, then what happened? C1 C1 ring as well as C2 rings. Will be coming in this direction as they are connected to the coil. They will be coming exactly opposite to the top. They will be disconnected from B1 brush as well as B2 brush, and they will be existing in this direction. At that particular time, current cannot flow through that particular coil. But by the principle of inertia, as the coil rotates continuously, it will be in its motion. Depend based upon principle of inertia, coil rotates around its own axis into this particular position. As it is coming into this particular position, what happens there? C1 ring will be coming toward this side. C1 will be connected to B2 brush and C2 will be connected to B1 brush. So that what happens? The direction of current will be gradually changes. The direction of current will be gradually changes. Current flow will be taking place in such a way that the direction of current will be changes. Due to change in current, coil rotates continuously. Current flow will be get reversed. As the current flow is reversed, coil will be rotating around its own axis. As the coil is rotating around its own axis due to electrical energy, it indicates by supplying of electrical energy, coil is attaining mechanical motion. Means electrical energy is converting into mechanical energy. Due to that reason, what happens in itself? The coil is rotating around its own axis. That is conversion of electrical energy into mechanical energy. That the based upon this principle only, as we switch on the key continuously within that particular coil in the fan, continuous direction of current will be changes. Due to change in the direction of current in the coil. Fan continues to rotate, rotate around its own axis. Due to that reason, we can get air. Nice, the sufficient air will be get fall upon our body. We feel very happy. Thank you, children, for watching this video. Try to analyze the concept clearly and gain knowledge. Very, very important question for four marks. Thank you for watching.